Okay, so we're back on Kerbal Space Program again. <clears throat> uh, from the last obviously I had the crash, so that really didn't help, but luckily it seems to have not particularly lost very much. We just lost the science that we would have got from that last flight. Um, and the contract seems to have changed slightly. It now expects us to get to... I... Oh, I have no idea because I haven't actually accepted it. 65 kilometers instead of 60 though, so... Was it the Mark V? I can't remember. Yes, yes it was, it was this one. That's right, because we had the initial problem with those engines having massive gaps in. Let's check. That lights, it's released. That lights. Then they fall down. And we are right on the border of the um, 40 ton limit. So, do we have science? Yes, no. Oh, yeah, we do. Yep, science is tucked in up there. We unlocked any more science equipment? Yes, of course we have. We just have to buy them. You're in the way. <laughs> oh, these are relatively cheap to unlock as well, so we'll unlock the magnetic one. And the Geiger one with you. add them to that along with modified key binding as well so that got impact data radiation data Let's save um right I think a sounding rocket thing that's about all we need to do so we'll build one of those. Oh, I must remember from that altitude as well, the goddamn parachute glitch. It wasn't a glitch, I just screwed up actually, to be honest. Um, oh, in fact, I'll check the configuration of the parachute, because I don't really want it opening. Shame you can't set an opening speed. Um, Alright, how long do I have to wait? Reconditioning as well. It's going to take then 53 days up to completion. Right, while that's rolling out, what we're going to do is we're going to go to mission control. Oh, what? Where's all the contracts suddenly gone? Oh, that's not really filling me with confidence that all the contracts have suddenly vanished. Oh, crap. Never mind, oh, ha. Oh, and that's right, I remember it's this one. It has the built-in technology perk. It has no scanning telemetry, whereas this one. Go away, go away, go away. Has no built in antenna, however, it has a science experiment. So that's why there's the difference in those two. Oh, that's really awkward, that. I mean, it's good. Daytime, see if that gives me any more contracts. Oh, sh Where's the Kerman line? Oh, 100 kilometers. This rocket doesn't have enough delta V to get that high. Take another 24 hours off. Wow, 
What has happened? Oh, oh it's there. I did accept it. Somehow. Okay, that's really weird. There we go. <laughs> Shall be launching the rocket then. And hopefully not lose all the damn science experiments this time. Basically, I'm just trying to spam out some low, low value science early on. What the hell is that doing? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trust it, I'm going to trust my eyes <laughs> to get it right, but... That failed, didn't it? Yes, it did. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Oh well, at least we can get the Geiger Muller tube. No point letting it even accelerate. May as well start getting the arrow braking with the parachute straight away. We got a bit of science, but yeah, that was my own stupid fault for talking and not paying attention to the staging times. Oh god, and I really should be careful with that as well. Oh, oh my Because that impacted very close. Whoa, what the hell is happening to those parachutes? There's one, there's two, we're missing them. Oh no, one, two, three. Oh god, we're doing five meters a second. It's just ridiculous. It'll take forever to get down. I really should have to put a slight angle on it. Woo! Let's just pass Ooh. I forgot because of the acceleration we've now landed that I could accelerate that fast. It's probably me that just resulted in all of those blowing up rather than landing. Unless they physically don't have enough parachutes to land, they may not have enough parachutes to land stably. Oh, I was say where the hell's all the science gone, but of course I transmitted it, so it's not on the craft. Ten parts recovered, 98%. If I'm reading that right, does that mean I lost 98%? I gained two and a thousand, two and a bit thousand um, units, but two and a bit thousand credits, and the whole rocket costs. I sounds like a fifty percent. This percentage just don't make any sense. <laughs> I've built a couple of them. These aren't going to go wrong with the science. We can get. Middle and high science, there's no, no issues with that. Obtain, yeah, 65 kilometers up. So it's me, me, and we launch one of them. Pay attention to the staging timers this time. I've got all these goddamn windows all over the screen showing me information. I didn't even pay attention to the staging timers. I leave it up to just a normal SAS as well. 
compelled to be. The stage is only 28 seconds long. Three, two, Oh, we do speed back up, and I just suddenly noticed that my surface speed was going down. Might as well keep clicking that up now. So it puts a few. Let's toggle that. That means I can just right click on it and deploy it. Vessel state. I don't know what that means. Oh Christ, we're gonna go. Wow. Uh oh, I want to pop the mic on the stand. <coughs> Risky. This could be risky anyhow, because I have no idea how this thing's gonna behave. Going through and uh, nearly, nearly the entire atmosphere. Literally have no idea how how to handle this thing through the atmosphere. Deployment is safe now, but it's not going to do much. Oh, we can't deploy any oil. Speed is positive. I don't think I'll get any more at ninety four. God, it's like proper, proper quiet. It's just eerily silent this high up. No engine, no nothing. Right, well, I shall be back when uh, we're going to do something, basically, because this could take some time. Uh, although, being, you might want to, I suppose, you, yeah, you might want to see how the re entry is affecting it. No, uh, Again, though, it's not using the whole Delta V Actually, I've just realized I really don't want it to point down like that because that would make any heating effects that do occur occur to that. Look at the moment it's not heating. Ah uh, dropping through wow. Yeah. Deployment dangerous, I wonder. Uh, maybe because we'd rip it to... Oh, no. I don't think this thing's going to slow down. Let me separate off and try and get it to split. I need it to slow down. Safe. No, no, no. Stressing. Stressing the shoot because I can't get this goddamn. I can't get it to disconnect. We no longer connected. That parachute is heating up rather rapidly. Go on, tilt. Yes! Apparently I'm over grasslands. I highly doubt that this is grass somehow. <laughs> For a start, it went with a splash. Sod it. <laughs> we'll just recover. Ah, oh, but... It's crude, crude, crude. 
improved. Oh, we were so close to that 100k, we got 94 kilometers. If we could just somehow extend the... Can you extend the first day? Oh no, you can't extend the first day. Blah! Again, I don't know why we've got that, but we know we can do it, so... We've already got a rocket built. Thank you for... A little bit of camber on it, I can easily get to the... the you know, the um, height required for that contract. Yet to get more science, because we know water or something. Well, no, no, steady, steady, steady. It's not particularly stable at angles. Oof, that was dangerous. It was still bloody lit. Oh god, oh, steady. It's getting really hard to control. I'm gonna see if Smart A ASAS can recover it. It is totally fucked. Just can't get the nose up. They at an angle is that was comes. I just couldn't get the nose back up. Once I'd gone over, I couldn't get the nose back up. However... Yeah, that is part of the... Safe there is. So rapidly slowing down. No, it's not going to slow down in time because it won't fall off. That was 
was so close. Oh, God, he is broken again. Oh, the antenna's broken off. That's why I can't do anything. I'm not sure it was worth an entire rocket for 1.5 extra science. Okay, we're at 13 science there now. We don't really need that survivability, but I can't get any help. I don't see how they could help. Yeah, they mean these are getting new lower stage engines to back part the most appropriate thing to do. And I'm not really bothered about solid state boosters at the moment. You can actually do an entire What we do have to do though is get another sounding rocket to do that contract before we fail it. Which won't even cover the cost of the craft we're going to use to get it. Right now, while that's building, we want a new craft. And... Oh, I know what we need to do as well. We need to see how much it's going to cost to upgrade the thing to take more than 40 tons. Ah, there it is, you right click. Oh, it's only 75,000 to go to 800 tons. That's enough for what? Oh, it's 75,000. Oh my god, we haven't even got enough to do that. Desperate time to call for different matches. Okay, so what we'll look at then is maybe a small low altitude plane just to cover the earth biomes. On procedural fuel tank room. Appears to have vanished. Where's the oh it's there. may not need that, depending on. Oh, so fucking stupid. <laughs> no, you don't. There we go. Slow ones as the roll slice move. Like that. And that's where it gets interesting. Center of thrust, center of mass, and center of lift. Along with it's ferro. Aerospace for third. Right, cannot fly. Has no roll, no pitch, no yaw. Fair enough. It won't be traveling at that kind of speed either. So it's like really can't fucking fly. Alright. Oh, give me a minute now and see if I can call. Oh, 
Okay, so as a quick thing, basically what we've got, uh, we're all green. So we've got enough pitch, roll your side slip, everything. We've certainly got enough that's going really soft. Let's bring it down to takeoff speeds as well and try and. So it may. This is where it gets a bit weird. It may not be able to take off, but if I can get enough ground speed on it, it should be stable enough to fly. So. It's basically just a ridiculously little. sort of. I don't know. Booney your beach <laughs> kind of craft. Uh, the only thing I didn't put on because I wanted to see flight statistics, not anything else, was landing gear. Now, this may have an effect which. I wasn't. Oh, that's worked out really well. Uh, it needs to go further forward. But... Right, let me just change that and check that because that could have altered the center of mass, which could have broken everything. <laughs> Recalculate. No, it hasn't. Since the ship, I can't raise gears. I just wanted to double check there was no glitchy stuff with that. Let's call it the Beechcraft Mark One. I. I wasn't going to do space planes, but we need science, and it is ridiculously cheap. Save. Build one of them. So the downside is is how long it takes to build off. Oh, I'm an idiot. Because <laughs> there's no fuel on it, which is going to drastically, drastically alter the aerodynamics. Eh. Still reckons it's roughly nominal, but. Seems roughly nominal, actually, to quite substantial weights. Let's just put that back up here. Do any of these go white? So we got green, white, green, 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 white. And green, green, green. I don't think they're making any difference. Green, green. I know that our, our yaw may take a hit by the looks of this. No, the, the, so it actually looks fairly stable still. Although, I'm going to have to... <sighs> have to leave and... Um, scrap that one I've already started to build. Because it's got no fuel in it. Which would never be much good, having no fuel in it, because it would just sit on the runway. So let me just load. Make sure that says. See, the problem is I don't know. I know it's got built in. I think it's got built in air intakes. It runs off our gas. So. Which is all we have. Have gas, hundred percent. Have gas, hundred percent. Seventy-five days. Of, yeah. Okay. So we'll do the sounding rocket just to complete that contract, so we don't take the hit on it. That's going to be literally a straight up, straight down. So that won't really be an issue. hundred odd days of getting basic orbital rocketry which is they're going to be the key to getting satellites communication satellites up in space and of course upgrading the bloody launch pad if 
don't get a decent contract soon, I'm gonna str struggle to upgrade the launch. I don't understand what that means. This is a sounding rocket. I don't know what it means. Sounding rocket. I assume uncrewed, to be fair. Well, we're just gonna. Go. I know it's one of those contracts that I have 45,000 as a reward, but I don't understand what it means. I literally don't understand what it means, so what I might have to do is launch something. I'm going to check the funds from the end of that last video, actually, and see if I'd completed that. Long story so short, you can't even tell. Although I probably should alter my record button, since it also happens to be the auto-load button, which is really not going to help. Steady. Simple assets. That's it, lad. They're going that fast, they'll just rip themselves to pieces. Yes, we're slowing down, but I think we just need to get the crude vessel out, you know, and get them on a suborbital trajectory. I mean, <laughs> wait a minute. Apparently I'm already on that mission. If I do toggle info settings to arm at a certain altitude, arm at altitude down to arm parachute. No. I wonder if it's because it's on. Those things smashed into each other as they came off the ground. I know, but I've set it all up to be. It's really weird. I felt sure that if you set everything up. And if you set it all up like this to the point where you know the parachute is going to engage at the correct altitude, you know that the full deployment altitude is correct. So it means this, this is still classed as unfit, this is still to fly. There's nothing more I can do to it. Ooh. See whether I'm over water or not. So. Whoa! What the hell I am? Oh, I know I am over water. It's giving a splash. So. The ten seconds and we're down. Cover. That's that contract done. We'll see if we can get the um, the crude flying. I 
this is one that burns for almost the exact amount of time that it possibly can. But it can be a lot heavier. If we're going to go for a crew altitude record. The problem with crewed ones is I've got to be very careful about re-entry. Yeah, I don't. Okay, 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 so. Well, this gets to about 60, doesn't it? We know it gets to about 60. So. I don't really know. I think we're, we're way off 100 kilometers yet, so we may as well just build that as is. No, it works already, and I'm guessing obviously when it crashed. So which we'll build for that? Let's finish that off. Which we'll build first? We've got 100 days. Oh. Only 20 days. Oh. Yeah, it's done before the space plane. So, roll it out. Complete. Warp to morning, and I bet it's still done. <laughs> what space plane? I say space plane because it's a space plane hangar, but it's, it's clearly not. It's a flaming Avgastro uh, plane. It's a plane. Randomized filling. Fill. Okay, so that's three. Oh, I've got more than that. Let's go. I need a scientist. Oh, pilot. I was a pilot. There we go. Cindy Roberts. Thank you, bless her. I think it was Cindy last time. <laughs> Start looking at using some other engines soon as well because basically at 10,018 minutes you can't gain any more information about this engine. It's effectively running at its, at its, its most stable and efficient state. Please don't do anything batshit crazy with Cindy. You, you know that counts as batshit crazy, right? Fast <laughs> mark one. This thing's never going to reach 30 kilometers. Nice, no, 50. That's no, decreasing 51 kilometers. Oh my god, oh, just stop. I'm sure we were going to make that. 20 minutes to 51. 
sure we got higher than that. I'm going to stretch the stage a little bit. I'm going to try and really push that engine. See what we can get out of it, because another five or six seconds burn time there, and we probably would have made that. But now we need to focus on getting her down alive. We're almost still going upwards. Oh, actually, well, no, I still do want to go rear end first. Oh, actually, or do I? Our parachute. It's not pretty violent. That deployment is still seven. It's going nose first, but <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say that um, the aerial was good for something. <laughs> Stuck in the floor. to afford to do that for much longer. That is... 20 seconds long. done in 15 days, so... I'm really interested to get that solar oil trajectory one though, basically because I think I have to, to be able to upgrade the launch pad. Um... Each craft only done in 4 days, so that's not actually all that bad anymore. Beach crash ready. I just need to think very carefully about the crew. Because <laughs> I do not want to lose a crew because planes are so dangerous if you lose it, to lose the crew with. Her another go. Come on, Cindy, you can do it. You were only nine kilometers or something short of the target. The only, my only worry now, though, is that the engine is basically dangerous. That's my only worry is that basically the engine is. It's dangerously overrun. See, it's only supposed to run from now onwards. I'll give it a smart ASS. Although I'm not 100% what I'm 
I think it, I think the engine's going to burn out before it reaches. Thruster weight's going up there now. Uh, G. That's point. Where's the G counter? Come on, you just need to burn a little bit longer. This is the extra twenty seconds. But actually, we're nowhere near as high as last time. Because obviously the alteration in the extra wave. But... Ah, and it failed 10 seconds early, so we're even lower than last time. I did that open at 25 seconds. Oh, I think it's because I'd already technically triggered it. Oh, wow. This could be interesting because I think one of them deployed and the other one didn't. That doesn't support it. Cindy dies. It's quite simple. <laughs> this one parachute doesn't support her weight. I think it failed you. Oh no, the other one did open. Oh, thank god. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Literally no. Oh, what? Answer the question of where am I? Right over the station. <laughs> Shows that the vertical flight was very, very much vertical. I think for this one, I'm going to have to do if I want to get that altitude, I'm going to have to put some extenders on it. However, for the next flight, though, we are going to test the Beechcraft. Not that we'll break 60, <laughs> 60 kilometers from the uh, Earth's surface with a beach craft. I've not put anything on it, no parachutes, no. Oh, shit. I might edit it, you know, and get a parachute on, and may as well put... The problem with parachutes on planes is most of the time it's physically impossible to use them because of the lateral speed. You just tear them. I wonder if I've got solid rocket boosters. Night times the bottom slide. to get all the instrument panels down here. Go down for data. Log pressure data. But what I meant to do as well it was try and somehow get a parachute on this. <laughs> oh, 
what's her reckon again? Oh, I just want to check because I. It's still all green. Ah, uh, wait, no, no, nearly. Let's reset the speed. It's still all green. So I don't think we can go get all green and then lower now. I've just realised. Did that really go up to a hundred and eighty-six days? It's really going to be eighty-six days just by adding instruments and two parachutes. A plane took sixty days. To add four instruments and a parachute, it's going to take a further eighty-four days. Vanguard. This is a new of a stage. I think it's time to invest. New engine, people. We have the RD one oh three, which really hurts us on. Entrance costs, but unless I've just totally misread that, it's 308 millimeters of max thrust, 203 ISP, versus 469 kilometers. Oh, oops, I'm not quite sure how these thrust plates work. Why? I put it on three and it maybe it's one of these issues whereby Oh god. Don't crash, what are you doing? I do not know what happened there. But luckily control Z is a thing on this. Let's figure this out. I should be back with her. I finally figured out the thrust plates. plates and they gave me a thrust to weight ratio of 9. Um, so quite frankly that would just rip us to pieces. I mean, I'm stupid. This thing can't handle more than one of these engines. And what I was just about to try and figure out is how much mass this thing can handle. This SAS. So it says it has SAS but it doesn't say slip it is on that. Well, I don't want to give it too much mass. Because if you give it too much mass, it will just physically just break. Um, I need to go out to engine and check this again because yes, this has no data units at the moment. It does have gimbal. We can't change the configuration. It's unthrottleable though as well, so once this thing ignites, it is going to go Bah, shit, crazy. I think t two is just a massive thrust to weight ratio. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to go back to lead ballast for the base. I have to go back to that. 52 seconds. What I'll do is I'll check the delta V um, IV. So if we open the old one that had so that had sixteen hundred second of delta V. Yes, yeah, sixteen hundred, nearly seventeen hundred meters a second of delta V, and it made it to fifty thousand. Whereas this as less delta V. Start bringing the length of that in. That 
thrust away ratio is massive. Look at that, it can't process this, it's only processing fuel. So, take the risk, we'll go. I'll choose the bit because it's I bet the stills finish before the new Beechcraft gets its uh, scientific instruments and its <laughs> parachute. Yes, it is. 31 days for that entire rocket. We're still 55 days away from a space plane. <laughs> but we didn't even face it. It's a goddamn Booney or a Beechcraft style plane. How nice we're going to be in the morning. Hey, Cindy's back. I clicked the wrong thing, didn't I? No. Give me Cindy. She's good at her job. I just can't. Oh my god. <laughs> just add her manually, for fuck's sake. This is gonna go like a bat out of hell off the rocket. I, I, I can't remember what the uh, thrust away ratio the first one had, but we've got no data units as well. I mean, the engine could fail. This could be a total fuck up. I mean, this, this could literally be a total fuck up. Well, it lit. What can hell? We're already at thrust away ratio of 2.25. Still got 20 seconds of burn time. G force, though. Performance loss, because obviously it was running out of fuel. Uh, yeah, perhaps this is falling too quick. I think I might make the 60 kilometers one. Oh, no comms. Of course there's no comms. I don't know why I keep trying it, because I know there's no comms. Armed parachute now that I've set the altitude. And we pray to God Cindy doesn't smash into the floor at the speed of light. I want to know how to get this one. What is space? I just need to get above the Kerman. That's excellent. What the? Why did that open? I need to spam that just in case. Um, I don't know whether this is going to be enough now. Whether the tensile strength on this shoe certainly. Is it's going to cause it to tear. A lot of fucking speed still. I just made the rocket taller. Leave the lead at the back. Just keep extending the rocket upward. That'll keep it orientated correctly. And it did actually make it to 73. It's just that obviously it didn't have enough oomph to keep going. It 
it'll get more and more stable the more and more you use that engine as well. So there's that as well. I think it's worth doing another one of those. Now we can lock that engine. It's unlocked a lot of possibilities. That's about the thrust to weight ratio it should have what I can actually do is lower the lead ballast increase it some It's a 1 minute 22 second burn time at about the same thrust to weight ratio it was before. And this thing is 1 minute 52 seconds rate so I can burn it for another 30 seconds. Because physically I have nowhere to put the damn fuel. Lowering the thing and bringing the burn time up to 1 minute 33 seconds. That. Or oh, also, what I might as well do while I'm. Is find. Where they are. So 1.93, but it can burn for a minute and a half. Well, time's not great, but it still finishes 10 days before the other one. Come on, Cindy, you need to make it on our uh, suboital trajectory. <laughs> You're going to outer space, love, is basically what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, oh, I don't know. This engine's got some serious oomph compared to the other one. Like some serious get up and go. Um, I apologise, I should have fast forwarded to the day. We are still on the launch pad though, so... Wow, that's kind of a weird... distorting effect of space. And it's not like we're using liquid fuels yet, so there's no chance of burn or evaporation. Oh yeah, electric charge is there, so I'll put this here. So I've got that there just in case, but I don't tend to use it. All bit info to use the Apple apps. So it's like 22 tons, which I think is huge. I think we've got enough for an orbital stage now. Oh, Cindy, she must be so fed up with doing that. Right, throttle. Now this may not survive its burn time. Uh, 
something like you can have 10,000 data and we have 500 and we're already beginning to get can I see eat holy Jesus. shit I'm gonna kill him if it doesn't cut out <sighs> nearly killed poor Cindy I just noticed the bloody G meter 11.8 G's Oh god. Changing music means I think we did it. Um did they extend? I don't think they extended. Oh yeah, okay, so toggle doesn't do anything. Oh god! Oh wow, well, we just like smashed fucking huge amounts of records here. I don't think this is gonna survive the, the entry though. Oh, I've started to use electric charge now. Well, the electric charge must be so... So tiny. Well, at least it shows that remote. Oh, hello! I grabbed a window, <laughs> and that remote tech is working. Time until oh, it's that time until I'm collapsed. Okay. Well, I'm just going to fast forward for a bit, basically, because. Just did, just did, did I get anything else? No, it's still the same. We've got another two. I don't think you should satisfy uncrewed actually when you. Uh, orbital. I don't actually know what's going to happen. <laughs> I honestly don't know how... Whoa, okay, that was a little faster than I wanted to go. It's alright, uh, looking like that. Oh god, I'm not sure this thing's built to handle the G-Force. Goodbye, Cindy. Goodbye. Due to overheating, yes, Cindy was killed. Oh, 
God, I got some speed records, but that's not quite the end of the contract that I wanted to get. She survived. Oh, I should have died anyway. There's no way the G4 did. Those cockpits aren't meant to survive. Orbital trajectory, even suborbital trajectories, they're not designed to do it. They can't. Which is a shame. Her sacrifice, though, has just saved the entire space race. Why am I still here? I did click space center, didn't I? No, I didn't. I always click close. <laughs> That was pretty amazing. I'm not even sure we need to upgrade that. Uh, let's recondition that. Bless her. I think. Sacrifice killed in action. We need another pilot there now. Let's go with an American pilot. Let's warp to completion. Daytime. <laughs> Let's, um... Oh, this is going to have gone... Mental. We just did that. Not uncrewed it, we can have a destructive crew. Oh, we were 598, I mean, come on. It's just that one rocket just smashed a load of stuff. We're 45,000, I mean, cumulatively, we got over 100,000 from that. Um, clear all, want to add a single pilot. We will launch it with a single pilot. And I really hope it doesn't glitch out on the damn runway. And flip out like a goddamn spouse monkey bouncing on the tires. What? Please, please tell me that was a joke. And that he's not suffocating in a normal cockpit. You don't need it. You don't. I'm, you don't even need room water. You stupid machine. Oh wow! Oh god! Oh god! <sighs> That's why I hate goddamn planes. Right, I'm going to do this once just because that's just ridiculous. You can't just... I mean, no plane would ever do that. It's not even realistic. No plane behaves like that. They can't steer.
fuck's sake. No, 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 no. Planes don't behave like this. Okay, I'm gonna try and figure out what the problem is with this. Because planes don't behave like this. I think it's the wheel friction on the gate, just because it's a game, it can't handle wheel friction. So right, I'm back. I will I have just figured before next time I would show you what I found. And basically, the reason it's so goddamn unstable, I don't know why it's done that the first time ever, is this is far too high to be able to control it. Which is why every time he tried to correct a movement, it was jerking all over the place. So now we've got relatively smooth turning to allow the land speed to increase properly. Which gives you enough speed to get it off the floor. So it is officially a success. Now what you do is we shut down the engine. Put it, and this is still a cheap basically at the moment because they, I, I don't trust myself to land it. You get it into a nose dive with minor stalling. Large scale stall. Open the parachute. And they will slow the descent nicely. Which makes the plane recoverable. Well, I think the engine might blow up because of the impact speed of being 5.5 meters a second. I think that's very close. The impact speed maximum of 6 meters a second. Nope, it's perfectly and they have it. So, yes, we have to kind of screw about with the landing a bit, but why why is he even trying to use oxygen? Oop, fell off. Only a level one or higher engineer. Oh, because what, what basically there is you, you can have an engineer in here then with a pilot. The pilot can fly and you can land pretty much anywhere on Earth. But, anyway, let's get back inside. I recover it. So anyhow, yeah, that's what that's what I found. That's why it was impossible to control on the runway with stupid spin out. It's because it was translated because of the high friction defined by auto friction value. It was turning the slightest key presses into full blown ridiculous spazzers, basically. But uh, I am just going to queue up some science. We do want survivability, and if we're going to start going as high as we did last time. Oh, I think we may have just hit our research limit. But yeah, so we're, we're looking at over <sighs> nearly two years before we get all the tech. So, but yes, as long as we're careful with that plane, we can we basically can fly around the entire of the earth it's got an, well not the entire of the earth obviously that's a stupid statement it, there's an hour and 45 minutes of flight time in that plane 
So, right, now I'm going to go and let you get off. 